Hey guys, Nick here again from Quick Tech, and everyone on YouTube likes to show off their desk setup slash studio space. Well, today I thought it would be fun to showcase not my first, not even my secondary, but instead my bootleg, budget, tertiary desk setup. I'm going to walk you through all the budget peripherals and talk about what is driving the entire setup, making it a great additional workspace for when guests come over, want to dock, and get sh done. So first, let's talk about what's powering the entire setup. It's this guy, the Wave USB 3.0 Universal Laptop Docking Station. Now this beast is priced around $89, but the unit goes on sale quite often, and I picked this one up for $49.99. They also now have USB-C docks for a little bit more cash. So inside the box is the unit, which is built like a tank. And then underneath are the accessories, so you get the display link USB 3.0 cable, a pretty large power brick, the power cable, and a DVI VGA adapter, which is certainly welcome. Then of course you have your instruction manual and a driver CD-ROM, because it's 1998 again. Anyways, Windows or Mac should install everything automatically. So taking a closer look at the unit, up top you have some LED indicator lights, and on the back of the device is where you'll find all of your I.O. So from left to right you have your 12 volt DC in, and underneath that is your display link USB 3.0 input. Up top you have the two USB 3.0 ports, and underneath are the two USB 2.0 ports. To the right of that you have two USB fast charging ports, an HDMI out, a DVI out, an audio in slash out, and a gigabyte LAN in. And again, you're getting that DVI VGA adapter. Now this box does support up to two monitors, but let's quickly talk about supported resolutions. So if you're using only HDMI, you can go up to 2560 by 1440. And the DVI slash VGA port supports display resolutions up to 2048 by 1152. If you do decide to have a dual display setup, the unit unfortunately only supports up to 1920 by 1200. Now let's talk about the peripherals. So they're not Bluetooth, but they are budget, which makes them perfect for plugging into the Wavelink's USB 2.0 ports, so anyone who wants to dock their laptop will automatically get access to the keyboard and mouse without having to think about pairing devices or finding that elusive USB receiver. This set is from a company called iStar, which are the same folks who made that Bluetooth speaker table that you may have seen earlier on the channel. The highlight of this set is obviously the keyboard, which is built to mirror an antique typewriter. I really dig the circular keys, which have quite a bit of travel on them while typing. I've never experienced any connection issues thus far, and all in all I'm really happy with the aesthetics and functionality of the keyboard. Paired together on the same dongle is of course the mouse, and this is as basic as it gets. Very light in the hand, infrared style, and has a scroll wheel. This definitely will not be replacing my Logitech MX Master anytime soon. But as part of a budget setup, this gets the job done and is surprisingly usable even while gaming. The laptop that I have connected to the setup when friends and family aren't visiting is usually this Asus that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace for around 120 bucks. For that price, I got myself 8 gigs of RAM, a 256 SSD drive, and an AMD A10 7400 Radeon R6, which boasts up to 10 cores, 4 for the CPU, and 6 for the GPU. Now using a display link box over USB can be somewhat of a resource hog. However, I've still been able to run Adobe CC and some modern gaming titles without any hiccups. Although admittedly, I've mainly been using it as an excuse to revisit Skyrim, which runs perfectly fine on super high quality settings. For audio, I just have this cheap pair of computer speakers that someone was throwing out. I saw that they were red and were advertised to play audio, so I scooped them up. For now, I just have them hanging out of sight below the desk on top of the windowsill. Again, I wasn't really trying to win any design awards for the setup, just mainly going for budget and functionality. Before I wrap up, I guess I'll mention the desk. This is actually a kitchen bar table from Target that I've had for around 12 years now. It has a hinge so you can increase your desk real estate at will. And I mean, it's old, it's beat up, it's scratched. I like it. 
So that pretty much wraps this one up. Since finishing the basement studio, I actually have quite a few less bootleg setups, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to see some of them featured in a future video. As always, product links to almost everything will be down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.